Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some Even the Ocean, as you can see here, and I'm pretty much going to be starting from scratch. I'm just going to skip kind of the opening sequence here and uh, get right into things on a file that I just barely started, but it still will kind of set the stage with an opening uh, sequence anyways. Uh, there's a little bit of like a dialogue sequence or whatever, and this is a bit of a narrative uh precision platformer although i think the precision stuff doesn't come until a little bit later in the game and this is from the folks that made anodyne and i am such a huge fan of that game and i really need to play anodyne 2 as well but this one i kind of was unaware i think it, they might have even made it before anodyne not 100 percent sure on that but um yeah this is the part that i uh couldn't skip exactly but you're not always in these mech suits you actually pretty much are never in these mech suits uh until, unless they maybe come back later in the game, but I played just a little bit of this and was into it right away. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not always the biggest fan of like narrative stuff in my platformers, but the way that this has been implemented so far, I'm really into it. And as always, if you like what you see here, uh, we'll have links in the video description to where you can check this one out. Um, I'm playing on Nintendo Switch. Um, and it actually pretty recently got released, even though it's a bit of an older game, but it was like kind of recently ported to Nintendo Switch, so that was pretty exciting. Um, for me at least, because yeah, I went from like being unaware of this game, like loving Anodyne and being unaware of this game, uh, to now being able to play it very easily on my Switch, so. Um, let's see, I can interact with this. Okay, I can jump through, and I can drop down, perfect. So yeah, we'll get a little uh, tutorializing as we open things up here, and yeah, you can tell already it's got that same, well not same, but it's got that atmospheric vibe like uh, Anodyne has, and again, not like it, but all I'm trying to say is these folks know how to do atmospheric. Cool, save points, and then we'll get into some of the platforming here pretty soon. But I love even that little save sound effect, like doodly do. Let's go talk to Cassidy. The Sundance Kid. Or I guess that's the other person. Butch Cassidy is his, his own man. But let's see. But yeah, this is uh, basically you can like drain the life out of you when you're in these energy suits. And you can do it later in the game when you're out of these energy suits as well. But you'll have to keep things in balance. But... We'll get to that in just a sec, but yeah, we'll keep things kind of on the short and sweet side here and play, you know, just the opening chunks here. But again, right now I'm I'm totally protected in my in my mech suit in this opening segment uh, segment. I was gonna say section. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna end up uh, having to come back this way. Although based on what I know is about to happen shortly here, I don't think that's going to be the case. Okay. Didn't see any lightning or hear any thunder, really. Just saw a lot of screen shake. <laughs> I really like the character designs, both in like the in the game, but like also in the oh shit. Um, again, I played all this already, so I kind of know it's what's coming. But yeah, get a little zap. And I don't know if this is what happened to Cassidy. That I don't know. It looked like they were, like, trapped in some kind of purple snare. But, uh... Yeah. We're we're gonna suffer the same fate here, I think. But... Let's, uh... Well, maybe not the same fate. So... Get up. Get up. Nice. Is Cassidy... Yeah, Cassidy's done for. And now... I'm a little more mobile on the platforming end, and I get to keep, uh, let's see, what do I keep, the shield? I forget what it's called. Um, yeah, it's just, it was like the front, yeah, the chest piece. I was like, what is that, that front piece of armor called? But, yeah, it'll teach me a thing or two as we go, but I get it. Um, the shield, you can basically hold it, it's always going to be in front of you unless you hold the lock button, and you can hold it up, down, left, or right. And then if you, it'll stay locked in that position if you hold down the lock button. Um, so that's obviously going to come in handy when I'm blocking these projectiles here. And then you can see my uh, meter. Now that I'm not in my suit, I have this meter at the bottom where I have like a dark and light energy essentially. Um, and basically 
if it goes all the way in one direction, I will die. Um, and if it goes all the way in the other, I will also die. But I can now do like a long jump when I have like the darker energy. And then when I collect the lighter energy and charge that meter, I can do a super high jump. But again, you got to keep that stuff balanced. And I'm guessing that we're going to get into some puzzle precision platforming based on that. So, um, yeah, we know the drill. Um, we got a wall jump. That's all that question mark was going to tell us. And then it tells us anyways. So, let's see. Run right under here. And that's, you know, platforming 101. And this literally just tells you. And you can wall jump off the wall. Like, across. Um, so, yeah. I haven't played too much further than this. Just a little bit, maybe. Um... But yeah, most of this is going to be new to me, and we'll, uh, yeah, check out the opening bits and see if we can get into this power plant. Um, I don't know if this is going to be, like, an exploration platformer or more of, like, a, you know, linear type thing. But it did have, like, speed run options and stuff in the main menu, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Yeah, I, like, kind of just scoped out this zone just a tad. Um, now these are just regular. These I just got to block. But yeah, it's got that same just super vibey music. Um, okay, these are just straight up zones that char uh, either charge or decharge. I don't know. I guess they're charging one way or the other. One way or the other. <laughs> it just I just can't help myself. Even even in a nice atmospheric game like this. But yeah, I'm really kind of curious how this... So wait, let's hold this down. Shield me up. I guess I could kind of slid away from those anyways. But yeah, I like how you can hold the shield down. You don't see that very often. Let alone, or, or even the shield behind you. You see, you see the up shield, you know. I've seen that uh, since way back in the Lost Vikings days. Uh, nothing over here? Was it Olaf that had the shield? Pretty sure it was Olaf. Okay. Save it up. So, okay, these are those same pads that we had when, uh, I was in my suit, but now it's gonna drain my energy. Which, thankfully, it seems like these, maybe these things will wilt eventually if you use them too many times, but they respawn these little flower buds or whatever that change your polarity or whatever. Um, almost like, like not quite, but almost like a little bit of an Ikaruga vibe. But yeah, keep the shield behind you. But this is, I, this is actually further than I've played. Um, I've not made it beyond this point, so everything here is going to be new to me, so. I am already very into this, and not, again, not that I expected anything, anything but. Um, nice. Just dodge all this garbage. Let's go back and forth. Eh. We'll ride up one wall instead. Save it up. Oh! Let's center things out. Yeah, I like how you don't have, like, that's like, apparently your health meter. Like, I really, that's just really cool to me. Yes. Let's go. This still feels like a training area or something. Yeah, oh, there is, like, a map. Um, I was going to say contact Cassidy. Cassidy's done for, pal. Um, okay. Got to get a crystal lens of some kind. Okay. Oh, man, I'm going to have to go straight precision platforming. If I got to carry the... I think what that was saying is I got to do it without taking a hit. Okay, no, I gotta go back and find one? No. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go here? Here we go. What is this? What the heck is this? Okay. This is the vertical crystal lens. And that's what can't touch anything? Um, does it move with my shield? No. So I think the ball can't touch anything? This is interesting. But 
I think I just need to put it in here. There we go. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Now we have the opposite. This is totally kuru 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 in. Okay, another vertical. This is really, really cool. There we go. Gotcha, let me save first. Okay, recalibrate the energy flow, whoa. Rotate the mirrors so the light beam is targeted at White Forge. Okay. And the dark beam grounded. Okay. Cool. So I just rotate the mirrors. Boom. Done deal. So even a little, like, hacking puzzle type stuff. And is this going to get me a ride on this elevator? I think so. Charge up. Oh no, I'm making a transmission. Even that name, I like White Forge. Oh man. Yeah, Cassidy's gone. Okay. I thought this was maybe some kind of sinister figure at first, but it doesn't, doesn't seem like it. <laughs> That's that, I guess. Oh. Whoa. Like a 3D overworld? Whoa. This is sweet. Hold on. So I haven't seen any of this. This is more like Anodyne style. Anodyne 2 a little bit. Um, walk up to an area, press the A button. Um, okay, so you can investigate too. Okay, cool, pretty straightforward. I like how this storyteller is just talking to you. Awesome. Perfect. Follow the path. Follow the winding path. What's this say? Southeast to White Forge. This is awesome. This is it. This is it. Oh, this game is gorgeous. Goodness gracious. Just freaking stunning. All right, the City of Light. And the city of the future, apparently. Oh, the site of a bunch. I thought it said the site of brunch. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep the shield. It's my pal. It's my only line of defense. Oh, nice. We're getting some... Like, all these different pixel art styles and, like, even the 3D styles are really cool. Man, yeah, Cassidy's gone. I wonder if I'll if they'll show the funeral. Oh, <laughs> I wonder. They definitely will. They definitely will. I like how I like how again, I know I'm kind of breezing through this, but I like how the dialogue just that like it's I don't know. I like how the game is I don't I don't know how much they're going to balance the story in the um, gameplay moving forward, but again, there's all those different modes. There's even like just the um, power plant mode um, where it's like only the challenging levels. Oh, okay, see, let's just uh, let's see. Not ready to leave yet. Okay, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, this is the person I was talking to. The mayor. Ready to go? Not yet. What do I need to do? Oh, I gotta pay my respects. I don't even know. Didn't, because I'm pretty sure I said I didn't know them uh, before. Um. Yeah. 
The city suit? Oh, the mayor. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I don't need to talk to these other clowns. Not ready to leave yet. Are you serious? There's no way I gotta talk to everybody. Bill Paxton. Yeah, I saw it happen. I saw it with my own eyes. But yeah, I really like all these character designs, like the portraits and then the little like 16-bit. How am I not ready to leave yet? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just had to talk to just had to talk to the suit. I love these monorails. But I will say I want to get back to some platforming. That was some cool uh, puzzle platforming in that opening segment. Man, these are like, I really like these settings too. They're like, they're almost like stills or something. I don't know. Mayor Biggs looking like JFK. <laughs> Let's go. I want to... I want a platform is what I want to do, Mayor. First mission. Perfect. Alright. Hastings is going to be my buddy. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the other plants and fix them all. Nice. Show me where I need to go, Mayor. Oh, this map is pretty big. Nice. Dang. Okay, I was going to say that looks a little closer. Okay, three power plants. This is awesome. It's like into the breach almost. Most stable. Okay. Yeah, I'll be I'll be on my own here. I don't need their I don't need their help. All right. Interesting. I wonder if I'm going to get that energy suit back at the end of all this. A little bit of a wordy mayor. Cool. <laughs> Something sinister. Something sinister is going on here, I feel. Well, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. <laughs> Platforms. I just see the word and I get excited. These jams are bumping all of a sudden. Let's get to moving. Perfect. Oh, I can take the train? Take the lobby? Is that all I can do? Take the train, yeah. Where should I go? City entrance. Blow this joint. Ah, nice. I think I want to go this way. Yeah. Save it up. Uh, yeah. Let's go to... Never mind, right? Isn't that where I already am? City entrance? Yeah. Maybe I need to go to the right here.
Okay. I don't need to leave the city just yet, eh? So I do need to go down here. Let's go to... I was just at the cemetery. So maybe Murex Park? I might have missed what it was telling me to do. Yara's house? Okay, may, no, this is going to be where my house is around, I feel. Hey, here we go. Hey, look, hey, look at it. I got some nice architecture. Nice. Nice. A little minimalist, but I like it. Yeah, those jams just came out of nowhere, too. Sorry if that was a little bit loud. Everything else in the game has been so, like, quiet. But yeah, definitely... Definitely a story-heavy platformer, which is not always my thing, but knowing, again, how much I was into uh, Anodyne and the writing and that, and, like, the little interruptions, if you, you know, if you'll call them that, the story beats, like, I don't know, I found that game to be really compelling on all levels, so I'm excited to see what this one's got. Let's see if I can get out of this city. Yeah. Get back to work. My new suit. Okay. I wonder what my new suit's gonna look like. I really like these, even these loading screens. They're very like PS1, which I love. All right. Yuka. What do you want from me? Junkyard, passion project, obstacle courses. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. So maybe we'll check out the junkyard and then we'll uh, wrap things up. So we can check out a little bit more of the platforming here. And go from there. There's Yuka. Cool. The course designer, that's awesome. Cool. Perfect. I just need to talk to them. Let's go to rest view. All right, let's go. Save. Do I need to talk to anyone? Oh, let me ride the water. Oh, this is crazy. Are they gonna like teach me stuff? Okay. Oh, it pushes me with, with or without the shield. Okay. This is just kind of showing me the ropes. <laughs> Roasty the pig. Oh, that's great. Okay, they're just little quick uh, challenges. So let's see. Dream view. Little Kirby challenge, maybe. Let's see. Maybe I should talk to these people and have them tell me. Okay. Hooked up to the door. Sat pad. <laughs> we'll just do it. Perfect. Okay. What does this do? Okay. Just opens them automatically. Pops. It's almost like Ikaruga style. Pops if it hits anything of the opposite color. Oh, and I can't. Oh, no. Never mind. I can. I was like, I can't shield in any particular direction, but I definitely can. Oh, and I can't wall jump on those icy spots. And then what do they have to say? Okay. I know what to do, Pollen. I got you covered. <laughs> Easy breezy. Easy as pie. Steaky the cow. <laughs> Roasty the pig and steaky the cow. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. All right. One more. Boreas. 
Are we talking some wind? Yep. Blow hard. <laughs> oh, this game's hilarious. Okay. Speed demon. Okay, I gotta use the jump to my advantage. Oh. Nah, yeah, they're not gonna say anything important. Maybe they will. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. More aer aerodynamic with that shield above me. I'll get your uh, stuffed animal, don't you worry. Look at that. Like nothing, fuzzy alien. <laughs> nice and easy. So that's just showing you the ropes of the different type of types of platforming, I guess. Nice. Awesome. Let's head to the city entrance again, I guess. Because, yeah, I got to head back to the uh, lighthouse. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap things up here for the video because this is a good look at, like, kind of a, I guess, what, uh, yeah, I need to go to the Apex Plaza. Um, but a good look at, like, the opening uh, chunks of this game. And, you know, I think if <laughs> by now you probably know if you like what you see. Um, definitely something worth checking out. But, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And take care. And I can't wait to strap on this new rig right here, this new suit. <laughs>